इट्स नेवर टू लेट यू कैन स्टार्ट नाउ एज वेल इट्स नेवर टू लेट आई नो मैनी ऑफ यू हैव बिन थिंकिंग टू लर्न इंग्लिश बट बिकॉज ऑफ यू थाट्स दैट वी हैव इन आर ब्रेन वी आर अनेबल टू स्टार्ट आर जर्नी टूवर्ड्स लर्निंग इंग्लिश आई यूज टू फेस दिस अलॉट हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल माई नेम इज सिटी सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द एग्जैक्ट थिंग दैट आई जस्ट टोल्ड यू मैनी ऑफ यू वॉन्ट टू लर्न इंग्लिश बट देर आर फ्यू थिंग्स विच आर एक्चुअली स्टॉपिंग अस फ्रॉम लर्निंग इंग्लिश ओके लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट ऑल ऑफ दैट नाउ द कॉमन प्रॉब्लम दैट पीपल हैव इज दैट दिस इज अ कॉमन प्रॉब्लम दैट आई हैव हर्ड इज दैट we are from hindi medium we are from a telugu medium because of which we are actually not able to learn english now let me just tell you something if you really want to learn english if you truly have that hunger inside of you to learn this language the medium which you are from does not matter no matter you are from hindi medium telugu medium it does not matter guys it absolutely does not matter it completely depends on the interest that you have towards learning this language and the hunger that you have towards learning this language and we might face difficulty because we consider this as a subject more as a subject than a language which i'm telling you consider this as a language this is a medium that we use for communication okay this is not a subject i mean we do have english as a subject that is different altogether we are not getting into it we are just learning how to speak in english that means we are learning a language called english consider this as a language then it becomes much easier for you to learn this language and coming back no matter from which background you are you can learn english do you think every english medium student is going to speak in english they might they might not who knows okay if you are from telugu medium or hindi medium or any medium how does it even matter to start your journey towards learning how to speak in english If you truly want to learn English, you can start at any time that you want to. And especially in these days, I'm telling you, everything is available. It is so easy to learn. Everything is available in your fingertips. If you want to watch an English show, you can watch. If you want a if you want to watch an English movie, you can watch it. Everything is available in front of you. And we are just still giving excuses for ourselves that I am from a, a so and so medium because of which I am not being able to learn English. That should not be that should not be an excuse. That is just a lame excuse that you are giving to yourself. Do not give that excuse for yourself from the next time. If you truly want to learn English, you can learn English. Who is stopping you? You are just stopping yourself. And another important thing is just kill that fear. We have that here inside of a. Uh, you know we have that fear uh to speak in english inside our heart i know i experienced that i know that but how to overcome it is just killing it we are scared of rejections we do not want to be rejected by anyone else in this world anyone in this world now let me just tell you if you are being rejected by anyone else consider that as an opportunity that you got to learn something new in your life we always consider rejections i mean as a very painful things why are we consider why are we considering rejections like that why don't we assume them or consider them as an opportunity which which actually came to us to teach us something see if you face a rejection you are if you face a rejection because of the mistakes that you have made you are never going to repeat those mistakes in your life again that is what rejections are going to teach you okay please avoid any noises if you can hear them in background okay just try to focus on what i'm trying to say okay if you really want to speak in english just go out there and speak 
and put yourself into uncomfortable situations and this is something which people has that we never want to come out of our comfort zone we always want to be in our comfort zone and we want to you know get the results that we have desired for by sitting in our comfort zone that is not going to happen until and unless you put yourself into uncomfortable situations which can actually make you fluent in english only then you can be fluent in english you have to go out there face the challenges face the rejections and then learn from them and be fluent in english that is how the journey is for everybody whoever is fluent in english right now who has no background of english they must have faced a lot of rejections do you think i am from a background who speaks in english like in my family or in my uh, like in my locality or in my environment no one speaks english but i had this hunger towards learning this language because of which i actually focused a lot i made sure that i practiced every single day without fail and i think that's why i am able to speak in english properly today i am able to convey my ideas to the other person properly now and that's how it happens for everybody that's how it happens with everyone no one is um, an overnight star mm. there has to be some effort that they have you know that they have gone through that they have uh, uh, faced there has to be something like that that is what i'm trying to say kill that fear face rejections face challenges and some day you're absolutely going to be proud of those rejections and proud of those mistakes that you have made because that actually turned out as an opportunity which taught you a lot opportunities i mean rejections are going to teach you a lot i'm telling you this is from my personal experience rejections are going to teach more than your teacher does yeah and um, there is an amazing quotation like i love this quote so much from the book do epic shit by ankur variku sir this quotation says that uh, this quote says that you are what you do not what you say you will do we want to be fluent in english we just keep saying that we want to be fluent in english okay you are just saying that you want to be fluent in english but until and unless you put your thoughts into action will you ever be able to fluent will you ever be able to speak fluent english that is not going to happen you are just saying that you want to be fluent in english but did you actually take that step one towards being fluent in english if you haven't then maybe you cannot be fluent in english you are what you do what you are doing right now like are you actually practicing english are you actually practicing how to speak in english then if you are practicing then yes congratulations you are on the right path if you are not practicing english you are just saying that you want to be fluent in english you can never be fluent in english in that case recall this quote, quote again you are what you do not what you say you'll do this quote has a very deep meaning i always you know keep this thing keep this quote in my mind and try to get motivated by this and it motivates me a lot and i hope you like this quote too and that's a very good book please try to read yeah okay you are what you do not what you say you'll do now stop saying that you want to be fluent in english and start putting your thoughts into action and start your journey towards learning in, in learning how to speak in english and these days i'm telling you again everything is available in your fingertips everything is so easy guys i think it's easy that's why we are taking them for granted we should not take them for 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 granted we have resources to use we have to use them in the right way right way possible and to the best way possible they can actually help you a lot to be fluent in english these days you actually do not have to go a go to a spoken english class in order to be fluent in english you have many resources available in your mobile phone which can make you fluent in english so it depends on you how you use them how you make the best use out of them if you are feeling any of these thoughts i have just mentioned in the videos i'm telling you come out of all that start your journey start fresh you've been thinking from a very long time now now stop thinking start doing 
ओके अनटिल एंड अनलेस यू डू समथिंग यू आर नॉट गोइंग टू गेन समथिंग ओके दैट इज वॉट आई एम ट्राइंग टू से माई इंटेंट इज नॉट एट ऑल हर्ट टू नॉट एट ऑल हर्ट एनी वन ऑफ यू आई एम जस्ट ट्राइंग टू यू नो मोटिवेट यू फॉरवर्ड मोटिवेट यू टू डू समथिंग towards learning this language i'm telling you this is such a beautiful language you are going to just fall in love with this language once you start learning this language learning how to speak in this language and once you start enjoying the process and process is important as i always see okay and i hope i was able to convey whatever i had to say to you guys and if you like the video please do not forget to like share and subscribe to my channel please do let me know how did you like the video in the comments below i i always feel happy to read all your comments and reply to all of them okay i'll see you very soon till then you do not forget to take care of yourself and i wish you uh, very all the best if you are just starting your journey towards learning english okay it's not so tough you can do it it's just a language you can learn it okay that's what i wanted to say guys i'll see you soon till then take care bye